just for a dollar, honey. Yeah! Yeah, come on now, baby. Let's do it. Fat, black, shit's on crack. Hard on crack. Fat, black, shit's on crack. Down in the ghetto, cruising the streets. That's a fat black Ooh, that's offensive. Oh, fat black chicks on crack. Oh, shit, I'm offended. Are you offended? So we learn something new every day, man. Damn, you know, like parody, there's comedy, there's parody. But we learned today that, uh, that in real life, real life, this is real. Today, a college professor claims that Donald Trump is to blame for black female obesity. <laughs> you can't make it up. So, I mean, look, how are you feeling right now? White people. White people have all the white privilege in the, in the, in the world right now. Right? So if you're white, you have white privilege. This racism shit is crazy, man. It's like the pendulum, right? In the, in the 40s and the 50s, white people didn't understand blacks and they discriminated against them now. And now you've got this, this world-class field of blacks that don't understand white people. Now, am I making it up? Am I exaggerating? Well, let, let's, take a, let's take a stroll down memory lane. You remember, you remember the old videos? I was looking for fucking Archie Bunker, man. You remember Archie Bunker? I used to watch this shit in my grandmother's house, man, sitting on the couch laughing my balls off. Man. Listen, man. Isn't anybody else interested in upholding standards? Our world is coming crumbling down. The coons are coming. <laughs> Archie, twelve percent of the population is black. There should be a lot of black families living out here. Yeah, this is only a beginning, but I think it's wonderful. Wonderful, huh? Well, let's see how wonderful it is when a watermelon rinds come flying out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he went for the watermelon, the the watermelon smear. You remember the, the blacks, the old blacks like watermelons? You remember that shit? That's just one more, one more. You know what's just crossing my mind? Remember old man McNabb? Yeah. He used to live down the street there. Uh -huh. you remember the time that he was going to sell his place to them Jews? Oh. And you come around with that petition to all the rest of us to sign. Remember, keep him out? We all signed, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really saved the block that time, Jim. Well, you know me. So, I mean, uh, you wouldn't then turn around and, and do what uh, McNabb was trying to do, would you? You mean sell to Jews? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> These people are Baptists. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, Mr. Bowman, I just talked with the telephone company, and they are putting my phone in today. Now, I really believe the house is mine. Oh, hi, neighbor. <laughs> oh, is that racism? That's racism. That's white privilege right there. Archie Bunker thought the neighborhood was his. It's it's not it's not uh, it's not a black neighborhood. It's a white neighborhood, right? Fucking you remember that shit, man. So it's over, though, right? We've we've evolved, haven't we all evolved since uh, since then? Well, not so, man. So during a television appearance, a New Jersey gender studies professor claimed that Donald Trump's policies were to blame for black female obesity. We're gonna watch the video in its entirety, but I'm just peppering you up. I'm just prepping the, you know, prepping prepping the video, right? So you understand the background where the whites are, the whites and the blacks, because everybody's gotta be separate today, right? According to a college professor. Now this wouldn't even be a story unless the the dear professor Chunk, I think her name is, or Chunk Crunk, excuse me. <laughs> it would be funny if her name was Chunk, right? Fucking Professor Chunk, a big fat black chunk, fucking Chunk. <laughs> uh, I guess not. Crunk. Ch crunk. Ch -ch -ch -c -r -u chunk. Trunk? Trunk. I don't know. Whatever, man. So, so anyway, I hate it when people talk about black women being obese. I hate it. <clears throat> We're going to hear her say it in her own words because she can do it better than I can. 
Uh, but it, it's look, the story is only interesting because look who she is, right? This is not just any old black woman talking. It's not any old black woman. It's not some some ghetto black woman saying motherfucking Trump made me fat. I'm fat because Trump. Uh, it's not that at all. This is a this is a college professor at Rutgers with a PhD in American studies. And a uh, and she went to Howard <laughs> Howard University, the all black, the black training ground, black university, Howard University, where she got her undergraduate degree, bachelor's degree. Look at it. Give her a call, Brittany dot Cooper at Rutgers dot EU. Give her a call, man. There's a fucking number right there. I'll blow it up for you, man. You can fucking call call a fat bitch yourself and give her a piece of your mind, right? Blacks, all oh, about blacks. Uh, so let's watch the uh, we'll watch the video and then see some of the commentary. Check this shit out, man. Trigger, trigger. Be careful. Here we go. Like, I hate when people talk about black women being obese. I hate it. Because it becomes a way to blame us for a set of conditions that we didn't create. A set of conditions we didn't create. Just just think of, just ponder it. I, I'm, I don't want to chop it up too much, but just think about what you just said. We are living in the Trump era. And look, those policies kill our people. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower. And what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that. The racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. I'm with you. But I think it's also really important for us to know that we have the power to choose how we see ourselves. Sure. We will be fortified to fight all of these other external issues. Just, just for the record, Black Women on the Conversation. That's the name of the show, and it's sponsored by who? The quintessential leading Black woman, Oprah. Uh, sponsored by Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey Television. The Black Women on Black Women own the conversation. All right. Now it's shocking, right? It's a Black woman. Let's watch it again. I'll break it down because there's some really, real freaking zingers in there. That how do you make these? The, the leaps of logic, just like Archie Bunker. She is the modern day Archie Bunker, right? for lack of a better example. She's the she's the um, the the pig headed black, right? And she's got a PhD to back it from Rutgers. Rutgers lets her go on TV and spoo. Why? Because you got a I guess a black billionaire that'll allow it to happen. Well, let's go piece by piece. Like I hate when people talk about black women being obese. I hate. Oh, there's no obese black women? There's no obese black woman? It's funny, man. Fat black, fat people, first of all, fat people are funny. Uh, it's funny because most people that are not fat think that fat people's brains work a little slower. Uh, you're fucking slow, right? You're fat. Why are you fat? Why are you overeating? Why are you eating two and three times the normal amount of food? Now, I'm not talking about like having a little gut, you know. I'm talking about morbid obesity where you got to... Well, you take up two and three seats on a train, right? That's fucking fat. You're a fat bitch. And if you don't like it, lose some fucking weight, you fat bitch. Don't blame the fucking president, you idiot. Eat it. Because it becomes a way to blame us for a set of conditions that we didn't create. What? You didn't create. Nobody's, stu nobody's got uh, a wall. Put a wall around your mouth. Nobody's preventing you. It's you picking up the fork and the and the fucking knife and the spoon, stuffing food in your mouth, right? That's the, it's the reason why you're fat, right? That's the reason why you're fat, because you eat too much. You eat too much, you fat bitch. Author. We are living in the Trump era. Trump era. Now watch all the black. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, bitch. It's disgusting. It's despicable is what it is. And look, those policies kill our people. 
Those policies, Trump's policies, kill our people, but not not Obama's policies for eight years of Obamacare fucking driving uh, health care into the toilet, raising prices, premiums. The worst, the worst, uh, uh, where he could have had single pair universal health care. That was the point of it, and it turned into Obamacare, which is a disaster, and has since been thrown in the garbage because of the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies looting the country using those laws. Uh, now, the solution is and always has been you got to get rid of the pharmaceutical lobby and get rid of the um, <laughs> get rid of the insurance companies so they could stop raping the country. But it's Trump's fault for not seeing it. When Obama, right, the Obama, she's saying the Trump, we are living in the Trump era. And it negates the fact that we had a, a president, a black president for eight years that did nothing, that made the problem way worse. You can't get access to good health care, good insurance. The research says that black women, when we. So, so no, with no facts, she gives no no evidence that the Trump era caused it. All right, this is a PhD. This is a PhD. No evidence gave not a s- stitch of evidence to say why Trump's what policy, which policy, which policy that is any different than than Obama's policy are you pointing to? She gives no examples. Says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we what professor who? Give us a fucking name. Listen to this. Says, the research says what research? What research? You're a PhD. Give us the fucking research, you liar. That black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower. Now I'm a clinical dietitian. Now you know that, right? I, I have a bachelor's degree in nutrition. I, I for five years I was a clinical dietitian in nursing homes and hospitals. I, I run. I'm a marathon runner. I, at least I was anyway. I understand diet inside, outside, upside down. Right. There's no evidence whatsoever to say that black women have a slower metabolism and that's why they're fat and it has to do with politics. <laughs> it's just bullshit. It's total fucking gaslighting of an audience. And you got these black women. Is, again, this is not racist, right? See, it's not, it's not racist to point out racism. It's, this is not racist. I'm not the racist because people will look at this. Blacks will say, oh, fucking look at this guy. Guy's a white racist. Guy's a white racist. White privileged racist. No, I'm pointing out the racism to you. Right? That's, what, that's what this is. Right? I'm pointing out the everybody has blind spots. Look, we all have blind spots. There's no escaping our blind spots. Right? Some, sometimes, you know, but if 90% of the person is... It, it, 90% of the person is quality, like Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is 90% good, wholesome, right? And and 10% blind spot. Russia Gate, you know, fucking Hillary, right? There's everybody. We all have blind spots. But you can't, you got to look at the, 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 um, uh, you can't look for perfection in people or we'll never get anywhere, right? You got to accept people for, you know, that are mostly good, that cross that barrier, right? And uh, so, but blame Trump for being fat. And what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. Stress, stress responses in the body do change metabolism. That is a fact. It's literally that the racism. <laughs> and now she goes off the rails and saying it's literally that the racism that you're experiencing because all blacks experience racism, not the other way around, never that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. All right, so you're, she's making the argument that poverty I- exacerbates uh, uh, stress, and it does. We're in agreement with that, but it's not a black issue or a white issue. Why are you making it exclusively a fat black bitch issue? It's an issue for all people, stress, right? I'm with you. But and now, now, the, now the host, whoever she is, co-signs the bullshit. I think it's also really important for us to know that we have the power to choose how we see ourselves. Sure. We will be fortified to fight all of these other external issues when we pour into ourselves enough to say, I love me, I am not the conditions that 
facts around me. I am not my experience. All right. So there, she's the the host. At least is defining the fact that you are not the the result of exclusively the result of your environment. Take it. Take charge of your life. Right. Monitor your own fat face. The food going into your own fat face is what the commentator is saying. Right. So. There she is, right? It's just it's crazy, right? And again, it wouldn't be an issue if she wasn't, uh, if she wasn't all of these things. Right? If she wasn't a spokeshead, a talking head for Rutgers University, a PhD. Right? What did you do for all those years in your PhD school? Right? It's just fucking sick. Right? It, it makes you, it makes you a little ill watching it. So, Marx Conte reporting. You know, on uh, racism in America, it's not getting any better. It's not getting any worse. It's, uh, you know, Professor Chunk has just told us, you know, fucking Chunk, Chunk bitch told us that um, it ex- showed us that blacks got this massive fat, especially fat black women, have this massive blind spot. It's fucking, you know, going back to the Archie Bunker days of racism and, and uh, bigotry and blaming, blaming the president of the United States because she's fat. That shit is crazy. Like, she wasn't fat before Trump got in there. It takes a long time to get the, the 400 pounds. Uh, she's been working on that shit. She's been working on that shit. Uh, so, here, yeah, you know, take a little fucking Bonnie Robo and Cunt Stubble. You out. You out. You out. You out. Turning some tricks, the fat black chick needs a fix. Scummy riding hoes, bitch, she blows for bucks. She's birthed on the monster, she's too big to fuck. Fat black.